This is Geographical Analysis, Lecture 15, Two-Sample Hypothesis Testing. The goal of two-sample testing is to determine whether significant differences exist between two samples. If differences between two samples are significant, we conclude that the two populations that the samples are drawn from are likewise different. Otherwise, we can't differentiate between the two populations that the two samples came from. So assume we've got two populations. This is P1 and this is P2. From each of these two populations, we're going to draw a sample. Sample 1 and here is sample 2. And for each of those two samples, we're going to calculate the sample statistics, x bar and s. And I'm going to subscript with these 1 since they're coming from sample 1. And here, x bar 2 and sample 2. What we are going to do is conduct a test that looks at the similarities or the differences between x1 bar and x2 bar. So we're going to compare x1 bar to x2 bar. And we're going to ask ourselves, are these two things the same? Are they the same? And if the answer is yes, they are the same, then we conclude that the two populations are the same. And if they're not the same, so that's no, this is yes, then we're going to conclude that the two pops are different. Okay. In this class, we're just going to deal with samples that are independent from one another. So in it, by independence, we mean that there's no relation between the observations made in the first sample and the observations made in the second sample. So with this kind of independence, we can ask questions about whether women have higher IQs than men, whether people in Toronto commute longer than those in Salt Lake City, and whether or not it snows more in Alta in comparison to solitude. Next class, we're going to go over difference between dependent samples. Dependence occurs when observations one, from one sample are actually measured twice. So, for example, we can look at households and measure two variables about the household. The amount of money they spend on driving cars and the amount of money they spend on taking transit. And we can compare these two variables about the same observations to see if there's a difference in them. Or we can look at shopping plazas across the country and ask how many square feet of uh, how much uh, the shop uh, for each shopping plaza we can calculate the square foot of grocery stores and the square foot of fast food stores in those shopping plazas and we can see whether or not more space on average is being devoted to square to grocery stores or to fast food stores we can also measure the same variable twice but at two different times so for example we can look at commuting times before and after a highway expansion. So our observations are individuals. We're going to take an observation of their commuting time before the highway expansion and again after the highway expansion. Or for salmon stock, we can look at rivers and we can measure the salmon stock in the rivers before and after some kind of environmental remediation. Again, all of this is going to happen in the next set of lectures.